when your computer RAM gets faulty, then you will experience a lot of communication problems within your computer's motherboard. This can lead to blue screen of death, computer turns on with a black screen, computer hanging or freezing issues, or computer randomly shuts down. But one may ask, how will you know if your computer RAM is faulty when you are experiencing a blue screen of death problem? First of all, I will suggest you run the necessary basic troubleshooting steps from this video you see on your screen. And if the problem still persists, then it is time to disassemble your computer. First, open all the screws and open the casing. Then locate your computer RAM. It always looks like this. Now, gently remove the RAM and follow the necessary steps from this video. You may need an eraser and an ordinary piece of white paper to clean the contact terminals of the RAM. Please focus on cleaning the contact terminals only. After, please use the paper to clean any hidden residue left behind by the eraser. Test the RAM in a computer to see if it works. If not, please follow my next guide. Here, you may need an alcohol-based cleaning solution or thinner. Please ensure that the alcohol content is not less than 50%. Here, pour a little of the alcohol or tina in a container. Then use a toothbrush to fetch it and clean it accordingly as demonstrated in a video. What the thinner or alcohol would do is to help remove any hard cleaning stains or corrosion that builds up during the long term use. After, please wait for it to dry for at least 10 minutes, then test in a computer to see if it works. If not, please follow the next guide. Here you may need a multimeter and a scale to test electronic components. I will be making a full video on how to test electronic components and the use of other equipment to fix problems in electronic and electrical appliances. Here please note that RAMs are made of circuit board, the memory chips, resistors and capacitors. Please check the value of all resistors and ensure that capacitors are not short to the ground. If you identify the faulty component, please make a replacement and give it another try. If that also doesn't work, move on to the last method. Here you may need a soldering paste. You can use any of your choice. You may also need a surface mount device rework station. This may help to reflow the communication contacts of the memory chip to the circuit board. This device is very important and can help to solve a lot of computer hardware problems. Also, please ensure you use a reasonable amount of soda paste on the whole circuit board. This will facilitate the reflowing process. Adjust the heater and the air gauge to meet a temperature no more than 350 degrees Celsius.
reflow for about 2 minutes and ensure you don't keep the heat gun at one place for a long time. Doing so will overheat the chip and cause permanent damage to them. Follow my steps to reflow the chip successfully. After that, leave it to cool down for about 5 minutes. From there, use either the thinner or the alcohol based solution to clean the leftover residue. After that, you are done and test to see if it works. After following all these steps, if your RAM still remains defective, then I would suggest you replace it. I hope you have learned something new today. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more computer troubleshooting secrets. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.